Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it is time for the 17th Mining Farm update. We do these on every first Tuesday of the month and talk through all the machines. Some things have changed and some things have stayed the same. So let's go. Starting from the left, the small miner brigade shrank a bit. So now my Baikal Mini is sold, leaving the F1 Mini FPGA as the last really small miner, if you don't count the Z9 Mini. So all machines here got a good and more than necessary cleaning last week. So we are polished, and if you have not done this in some time, you will probably feel it on the machine's temperature too. The F1 Mini is doing great, and I'm linking the two month earnings update we had in the top right corner. The update on the Baikal Giant Plus is that Deep Onion, one of my favorite projects I hodl and mine with it, had a halvening that is similar than what we are expecting with Litecoin very soon, but more on that later. Interestingly, hash rate has been relatively low since then. There are not much news with the Z9 Mini this month, except that it got clean as well. So we are still at max overclock 750M, giving me 16 to 17k soul per second. As I'm writing this on paper, <laughs> Depending on your power costs, we are slightly mining at a loss with the little thing, but I have no problem with leaving it running a little longer. So to the right we have a big change in the room you probably noticed. Yes, the RX580 rig finally moved downstairs. I couldn't hold out any longer with the heater in my office. Now it's running cool down here. The other rig has become a little problem child and for the first time since I got it, it has been off. But that gave me the chance for some reorganizing. So I might sell off some cards and rebuild the rig into a newer generation, but I'm not 100% sure yet. If you have recommendations, tell me in the comments. Both of the AMD rigs have been mining Monero in rather low power setups, so the 580 rig still undervolted around 4.5 kilo hash at under 500 watts. So next we are at one point that hasn't changed. We had a last update video on the L3 Plus and yet it is still here. Some things move fast and some things move slow. So this is the last farm update before the mining rewards for Litecoin will be halved. So let's see how the landscape will look after that. As every month, daily Litecoin earnings of my L3 Plus, now at 590 mega hash a second, and my two Moonlanders are shown on the screen. The Octominer is my little Nvidia box, stable and cool, mining ion. Also here I've been thinking of downsizing or checking out newer generations, but that again is on the slow side of the spectrum. What are you guys doing in that regard? Are you keeping on to what you already have, expanding to newer generations or both? <laughs> The CPUs in the house, except the Ryzen, are still on UPX, but earnings have been down a bit from what I see. The Ryzen is on Monero again, because this system has been more stable that way. Don't ask me why. I can also state that since the big rig moved downstairs, life in the office has become easier. I love it as heater for winter and the early spring month, but could have definitely moved it downstairs sooner. So for the ones of you sweating together with their machines, stay strong. Summer will be over soon. That's already it for the August farm update, there's one small little thing which is strange. There has been a fake cursed mining writing to folks in Discord asking about minor pictures for some sort of competition. Don't ask me what this is about, but please mind that I would never harass any of you via private message on any platform. So even if it just seems to be about pictures, please be careful with your data. Thank you very much for tuning in again. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining! And bye.